Welcome to the Duncan Music Lounge, y'all. My name is Maxwell, and today I am the honorary seventh member. P1 Harmony in the building! Dane, Tadirisma, Tours, plus everything. Hello, we are P1 Harmony. Woo! Yeah. Y you see, but that's the part that I have to learn first. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm going to work on learn. that. It took us time. three years. <laughs> it took us three years to perfect it. Yo, but you guys are dialed in. And um, what I want to say first off and foremost is it's so special to have all six of you here with us. Man, to have this, this experience here in New York City most recently, GovBall. Is that where we start? Should we start right there and what yeah. that felt like to be hanging out here at GovBall this past weekend? GovBall, what did you think about it? It was amazing. Like, we watch it. Oh, me and Kiho and Intak, we watch it like three days a whole show. Yeah. Like, there's artists are so amazing. <sighs> and we're performing, it was very fun too. Yes. Oh, and for that to be the first time that you guys hit a festival stage yeah. here in the United States, man, mm -hmm. um, what does that feel like, first off, to get out there, to see a sea of people, and to know that it's what P1 Harmony has always done stay true to who you are and connect mm -hmm. here in the Big Apple. You know, I think it was very, we just felt very honored because yeah. just having that title that P1 Harmony is the first K-pop boy group to be able to perform at the Gov Ball. Hold on, say that once again, Kyo. Say it one more time, man, because that's big. P1 Harmony is the first K-pop boy group to perform at Gov Ball. Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> yeah! You know, I feel like having that title also holds a lot of burden and a lot yeah. of, you know, responsibility as well, but um, we really just, did our best and we put our all into the stage. And you know, because it's a festival, we don't know if there's gonna be two people that show up or a thousand people that show up. You never, you can never really guess, right? But as soon as we walked out and we saw the crowd, for me personally, I was so blown away that we got so much love and support from GovBall and from New York City Pieces. And you know, it just made the whole experience so much more magical and yes. we can't wait to do it again. That sense of responsibility to know that you are stepping out there and you're willing to put forth your best, to be your best self, and to know that that's what peace is, that's all that they want from you all. How fulfilling is it when you do get to see everybody's light sticks in the sky? You know what I mean? Even when it's daytime, right. you know what I mean? When you see the energy and you feel that energy, to know that it's just because it's what you all are staying true to. What does that mean to you to be yourselves and to get that love back? <laughs> 남돌이 이제 이렇게 거버에서 출연하기도 했고 그리고 이제 그거에서 오는 이제 책임감이나 이제 부담감도 있잖아. 근데 어쨌든 우리가 어 우리의 무대, 우리 음악을 좀 진심으로 이제 보여주는 입장으로서 이렇게 많은 사랑을 받는 거에서 어떻게 생각이 드는지 얼마나 감사하게 생각하는지 궁금하시대. You know, it's I think I also think it's such an honor and there are a lot of kinds of people. Right? So we try to show who we are, which music or which, what performances we do, and uh, we hope they enjoy it too. And you know, the weather was perfect. Oh yes. The foods <laughs> were ready. You <laughs> yeah. know, people were perfect, <laughs> and we were ready too. So we enjoyed a lot, even though it was uh, a little bit of burden, yeah. but yeah. It, we did, yeah, we did enjoy. It, it was, was so nice. It was a special, it's a special moment that we, we got to share uh, here in New York City. Now, this isn't your first time in New York City, is no, it? No, yeah. it isn't. So to, to be here in New York City again, um, but to perform on that level, what, what do you think that that means most about like where K-pop is going and where you know this genre is going and how it's pumping out of one of the biggest cities in the world, not just America? You know, I feel like definitely, you know, like you said, it's not our first time in New York City. It's been multiple times, yep. really. But being able to come back to New York City um, to perform at such a big event like GovBall is so insane. And like you said, you know, it just really proves that K-pop is just becoming so much more bigger yes. than the year before it. And, you know, also being in that festival filled with all of these artists that are so respectable and so good at their craft and, you know, even we look up to, right? And yeah. being able to perform at that same place as them really goes to show that K-pop is now being taken so much more seriously as a music genre and as a performance and as an art. And we're so glad to be able to be at the front lines of that and be able to showcase K-pop in that sense. Heck yeah, we're gonna hang out here in the GovBall world just a little bit um, before we move on with the conversation, but did we get to stay back and watch any other performances? Oh, yes. Yeah, right. Okay, so who, yes. who was it that you were, that P1 Harmony was most excited to see this past oh. weekend? Uh, me? 
Uh, Don't Hold Me was pr- wow. uh, was crazy, and and Caesar was crazy too. Yeah, yeah. My favorite one is I think Caesar. Okay. Yeah. Mine too. There, there's like 그 무대 세트나 뭔가 전체적인 구성 자체가 아무래도 마지막 무대이다 보니 더 화려할 수밖에 없었던 것 같고 그래서 뭔가 시각적으로나 듣는 것으로나 그냥 너무 전체적으로 완벽했던 mm-hmm. 것 같아요. So you think it's definitely because she is a headliner. Yeah. She was able to put out such an amazing set with like the actual physical set being so beautiful as well yeah. and you know visually and conceptually and also just sonically just everything was so perfect so he was really he really enjoyed the whole show it is it's safe to say that she was in harmony she was yeah. she sure was she sure all, was. See, you see what i'm saying is yeah she was. No, okay so who else who else were we excited to see who else i i've been a huge fan of SZA for like the longest time like even when control came out and everything yeah and i've always been meaning to see her live but it's never lined up for me so I was like, I even begged my people, like, <laughs> you guys need to let me see SZA. Like, please. That's the only thing. I, it's like, everything fine. I just need to see SZA. And I remember watching SZA, and I almost cried to three songs all at different times. Yo. I don't know, because it, like, when you, I feel like that's the power of music. Because when you listen to music that brings you back to a certain time, yes. you start smelling the atmosphere of when you first listen to that song. You also, like, start visualizing where you were when you first heard that song exactly and you know it all took me back to like when i was in middle school and like when i was in high school listening to her music and it just like was a full circle and i feel like as artists and people that do music and now that we're able to sit back and be a part of the audience i feel like it yes. gives you a much deeper appreciation of music because once you're the w- when you're the one that's doing it it just becomes like kind of your thing but when you become someone that consumes it as well and you're really in that space where you know you're a part of the audience it's just so magical you know what's so beautiful about that response is that's how the pieces are with you all Ah. that is what is so special about that is that you all are giving that same energy that we as fans are are there for every step of the way and as we start to think about this tour we're talking p1 stage utopia tour right and and being in places like los angeles uh, and, and getting ready to, to bring that energy to, to fans. When you look out to the fans there and you see them also smell those smells, right. they start to cry those same tears or feel those same emotions in their heart. Um, how refreshing is it to know that all of the hard work is it's paying off? So, we saw the artists who were really artists in the past. 그런 똑같은 감정이 이제 우리 팬들이 우리 음악 들었을 때 그렇잖아. 그래서 우리가 그렇게 열심히 노력해서 그런 감정이 느낄 수 있게끔 만들 수 있다는 게 어떤 기분이 드는지 궁금하시대. 항상 이제 뭐 무대 처음 시작할 때뭐 그리고 무대를 하면서 이제 무대가 끝나갈 때 항상 이제 관객들이랑 눈을 마주치면은 되게 뭐 신나는 곡에서는 신나게 듣기도 하고 이제 좀 칠레난 곡에서는 칠하게 같이 즐기기도 하고 뭔가 그런 감정을 공유한다는 것 자체가 이제 무대에 서는 사람한테 굉장히 뭐라 해야 되지? 에너지가 되고 힘이 되다 보니까 항상 무대 할 때마다 기분이 색다르기도 하고 그 도시마다 그 내가 눈을 마주치는 사람마다 느껴지는 감정이 달라서 항상 그런 걸 느끼는 게 무대를 서는 이유인 것 같아요. Mm. So he says definitely it's a lot of hard work to put into the show but being able to be in the same space with our fans and be able to um, be excited and have fun in the exciting songs and also feel emotional and sad with the sad and mellow songs and being able to be on this journey and ride together yeah. makes the show so special and it's really different for every stop and every person he stares out into the crowd and it's so different from for every new um, place that he performs in that it really makes it so much more fun to perform. And to have all the brothers together. Right, Because exactly. I know it's, it's, it's a, I'll tell you what, man, it's a, a strenuous, it's a lot of work. It's, there's so much stamina. I mean, you're talking about a two and a half hour long show. Yeah. You guys are going all in, bringing all the energy. Mm-hmm. And to know that sometimes injuries will happen. Right. And, you know, you have a brother that's there to pick up for the fallen brother at the time. But now to have everyone back together, mm-hmm. how special does it feel mm-hmm. to know that all six and sometimes it might be a seventh member. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> or hanging out together. Right. You know, um, like you said, you know, Chiung, he had heard his thigh for a um, month ma- and a half. Yes, a <sighs> month and a half. So, a majority of our US leg of the tour, he was not a part of. And he really only just joined for at Gov Ball. Yeah. So, you know, I feel like you need to hear from him how yeah. he felt. Yeah. Um, 
it was really, really unexpected. Yeah. So, of course, I was so sad. And before, before I felt that, first I felt so sorry. Yeah. So sorry for my fans and my members, all of the step members go with the tour. And yeah, I watched all the video, unloaded. I like once I was, I, I think I cried mm. uh, before I go to sleep. Yeah, no, I, but that time I could like, um, mm. So he thinks, um, of course, through all the hardship, being able to stand on the stage once again, he's really able to realize how thankful he is to be able to do so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, try to make it positive. <laughs> no, but but here's the thing. It's yeah, it's uh, one of the things that I, I just want to make sure I keep on saying is that it is all of you that you are giving us through the sound, through the music, through the different. Ah, oh gosh, man, it might be a whole nother concept, you know, to challenge yourselves on some of these layers and all of these layers here. When you see a concept come to life, and the visual and everything just it blends together so harmoniously. What's that like when you guys are like? Yeah, you know what? We did that. This is <laughs> that's like the most fun part of it, actually. I'm glad that you asked because you know, for me t personally, I think visuals and concepts make the music come to life. Yes, and I feel like it needs to be cohesive and it needs to coexist in order for the music to be fun and interesting. And I feel like that's what makes K pop so fun as well, too. But, you know, when we're working hard on the concepts and the outfits and the performance aspect and also the sound of it, and then seeing it come to life and come together is so like the feeling of you know pleasure and the feeling of oh, yeah. all that hard work this is what it was for it's so refreshing and it's so it gives us a drive to keep wanting to do more and you know it's because of all the amazing staff that are behind it and also all sure. of the members that really really like you said grind for it to happen and you know it's 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 the it's one of the main reasons what drives us to do better and yes perform better so are there any concepts i don't want to give away too much but are there any concepts maybe that you know us as pieces we might be able to look forward to in 2025 27 what are some of those 27 <laughs> we like jump 26 <laughs> 2026 we're just gonna let now yeah, we're just yeah. chill there okay. but yeah but yeah are there are there some concepts that we're looking forward to maybe challenging ourselves to do you know i feel like P1 Harmony as a team we're always you know Theo had said this recently too but i think it, we make it our goal to not be scared to try different things yes. and experiment new things um, regarding to sounds and concepts. So, you know, whenever we come up with something new, it's always, in our eyes, we're going to try to make it as different as possible. Yeah. And we're going to try to make it as new and fun as possible as well. So, like you said, I can't give out too much. Right. We can't. <laughs> even if there isn't, even if there wasn't, we can't give out too much. But <laughs> there is always something fun and new going on. And we can't wait for you guys to look forward to it. We can't wait for you guys to see it soon. Awesome. I've got some fan questions here before we wrap things up here with P1 Harmony. Cool. And cool. Um, obviously, we think your music is dope. We know your music is dope. But who do you think is dope? Who are some of those artists maybe that we're a little unaware of that you are secretly listening to in your earbuds and inspired by? Okay. 어, 우리 음악은 좋긴 좋지만 우리의 요즘에 좀 영광을 받는 아티스트 좋아하는 아티스트가 있는지 궁금하시대. 전 어머 아니 한 명씩 한 명씩. We should do one person at a time, yeah. Let's do one person at a time. Yeah. 태호 태호. 어 저는 요즘 또 희한하게 또 락에 빠져가지고. He's into rock nowadays. Yeah. Okay. All right. 어제 또 레드 제플린 앨범 한번 쭉 들어보고 요즘 하드락이 조금 좋더라고요 요즘에. He likes hard rock. Oh, like hard. Oh, like it's the. <laughs> 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 yeah, but yeah, right on, yeah. spot on, right? Yeah. But what? Ah, that song is so good. But I think it's more because I'm not good at showing it. I think it's more because I'm not good at showing it. Okay, so he also says he feels like the reason why he likes it so much is because there's also the beauty of the fact that he won't be. Able, he can't. Do Can't that do kind it. of music, and admired by yeah, the he, talent that exactly. those artists bring into it. Yeah, yeah, so that fantasy and that admiration that comes from the talent that they can do, heck yeah, is something that he really finds. Okay, all right. Yeah. 
good. Okay. I don't know how to complete that. But sentence. no, that, that makes <laughs> yeah. I understand, 100% understand it. Yeah. Who else? Yeah, who else do we think is dope? Who else? We were listening For to? me personally, I'm really into the band music. Like, yeah. I love the rock as well. And I love the old, like, British bands. Okay. Like, for example, I really love the Radio Hat, also there we go. the Blurl. And uh, these days, I really love the Gorillas. Okay. Gorillas was very good. Feel good. My favorite album is Humans, the last right. album. Uh, yeah. Okay, all right. Gorillas. Uh, these days, I'm really into the, the singer name is Destin Corrad. All right. Yeah, his song is so chill and so, so soft, softly. Okay. Yeah. yeah very. Yeah. Just who? Just yeah. yeah it it yeah, feels refreshing. Yeah. yeah. When when I when I listen to his song, I just feel very. He gets. He feels really relaxed. Yeah. yeah and very calm. relaxed. So, very 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 relaxed. So especially in our very busy and hectic lives, he's able to really relax and calm down listening to his music. Yeah, <sighs> exactly. There it is. Exactly. Find your zen. <laughs> you yes. find your zen. All right, come on, make it our way down. Uh, for me, these days, I really, I'm really into R&B vibes. All right. So I'm really into Brian McKnight. Okay, Brian McKnight. Boys yeah. to Men. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Or. Classics, I don't remember his name. I really in, I'm really into the song called I Can't Wait. I'm going to find I don't it. Know. I'll just say or yeah, something. Yeah, 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 you know what I mean? That's what we're Y'all know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into this. Um, six Black? Six Black. Yeah, okay, Six, six Black. Six Black. Black. Six Black. Black. He really likes his relaxing vocal tone. Yeah. Yeah. That for sure. And last but not least. For me, I have so much. I feel like I've been listening to so many different genres all at once. I've been listening to the new Billie Eilish record. All I've right. been listening to Wayas Blood. Right. I've been listening to um, Charlie XCX's new album as Fire. well. Yep. I've been listening to, um, there's this London rapper. He's also a producer that's super underground. He has like 200 views on his YouTube video, like YouTube channel too. He's like very, very underground. Yo. But I've recently found him out. His name is um, Fake Mink. Okay. And like he makes like the coolest beats and he has like the coolest rap style. So I like I've been listening to him. That too. might be that might be a new concept. Just say it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I got a fan question. Who are you listening to when you're doing some shopping in New York City? Oh, oh. shopping right there. <laughs> I love an upbeat sound. Like I love listening to upbeat music. I've been into like the hyper pop wave recently. Word. So I'll be listening to hyper pop. I love hyper pop. Like it needs to keep you going. Like boom, boom, yeah. boom. But like walk, walk, walk. You know, like just keeps you moving forward. Because sometimes shopping can be so draining. Yes. And like your lower back hurts. You're like, oh, Yo, isn't like, that the oh worst? Yeah. God, you're like, my right feet there. hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're like, oh, but I want to buy like more stuff, but like my body's not letting me. So you gotta listen to stuff that'll keep you energized. <laughs> Yo, yeah. oh my gosh, uh, got a fan question here, and they want to know: Is there a special name for the P1 Harmony group chat, either on your iPhone or on WeChat or whatever? Yeah. Is there a group okay. name that you guys have? Tantokbak 이름, 뭔가 특이한 바뀐 사람 있어? 아니면 특이한 사람 특이한 사람 있어? Mine's in Korean. It's like 가족 같은 팀. Okay. Which means just like a team that's like a family. Love which that. is like, it's like a cute little wholesome thing. His is like Teletubbies. Yeah. His is Teletubbies. Yeah. <laughs> I love that here. Yeah. What do we do when we actually have time to relax? Is it binge watching something on television? Is it listening to more music? Is it reading? What are some of the favorite things that the members like to do when mm -hmm. they're not busy right. in rehearsal or performing? 안 바쁠 때 쉬는 시간에 있었을 때 어떤 걸 하고 있는 좋아하는지 막책 읽는 거, 뭐 산책하는 거, 뭐 그냥 자는 거, 영상 보는 거, 드라마 보는 거 뭐든 좋아하는 거. 태호? 음, 저는 <웃음> 뭐 예, 요즘에 뭐 맨날 그냥 기타 치고 남는 시간에는 아니면 뭐라도 일단 
일단 주말에 보통 한국은 이제 보통 주말에 공연이 좀 몰려 있어가지고 뭐 주말에 만약에 시간이 없다 근데 내가 좀 끌리는 공연이 있다 하면 공연도 한 번씩 보러 가는 것 같습니다. Mm. So Theo says in his free time he loves to play the guitar and he also whenever he has free time he likes to go watch other people's concerts yeah. and just see other people's shows. Yeah, t- yeah. you take it all in, you soak it up, you learn. Yeah, you know, and learning you put that is into your yeah, yes. learning is very important. Yeah. So with that, and as we put a button on this conversation here, how excited are you to watch, again, the K-pop genre really connect now globally, truly showing that music has no borders. Um, You know, what you all are doing and what you continue to do is connect here in the States where it might not have ever been imaginable, learning from other artists, but making that your own. How excited are you for what the world is still yet to see from P1 Harmony? You know, I think um, K-pop in, in general, in a, in the whole general term, I feel like it's gotten so much recognition and it's gotten so much love. And I feel like a lot of people see K-pop as something very luxurious and very far away and yeah. very exotic almost. But I think the next step for K-pop is authenticity. And yeah. I feel like it's time for um, K-pop to really show um why show the world why k-pop is k-pop and why k-pop is fun and why you need mm. to listen to k-pop and i feel like that's something we want to do to make sure our concepts and our music and our albums and whatever we put out is authentic and is genuine and we hopefully will be able to continue to do that and so that people will really take k-pop seriously and hopefully really understand k-pop as a music genre well here's how i'm going to end this as long as you guys keep on killing it yeah, <laughs> it's gonna pun happen. intended. <laughs> but yeah. you see what I'm saying? It's I don't think they get happen. it, though. I don't but, think but they got it. But we're going to explain that. We got that, you know, but you uh, you see what I mean. It's yeah, yeah. You are continuing to do exactly right. what that mission is. You guys have done so much amazing stuff, bringing us the inception of P1 Harmony in the pandemic. And here we are now along this journey with you, and it's continuing to thrive on. Just keep on being yourselves, and we're going to be you. there. I, I, I can promise you that. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm happy to see you healthy. Here's what we're doing right here in our Duncan Music Lounge. We're hanging out with P1 Harmony for all the pieces that are watching online. Sorry you couldn't be here, but I'm telling you, these guys are awesome in real life. Round of applause for P1 Harmony. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Maxwell. I'm out of here. Later.